Now, damn, man, that boy wise out what he was in court today. He was explaining in court why every time he had an interaction with authorities, he blamed everything or even made fake stories of how Young Thug was the one doing everything. And it wasn't him. Okay, so this will happen. Okay. The police kept locking you up for whatever they could. Every time I can't do it, the police was on me. And they keep bringing up Thug's name. So what I did was to get them off of me, I said, Thug did this, Thug did that, Thug did Because I knew they would never, I knew he didn't do it. And I, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. So it was easy for me to try to throw the blame off on him to get them off of me. And that's what I was doing from all these years. I don't remember what I don't told them in the past, but my whole motive was Thug did it because I knew he didn't do it, and they couldn't lock him up. And they keep talking about the 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 the. So guess what I'm gonna tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what else you want me to tell them? Yeah, he killed this person. Yeah, he did that. That's what I. That's what I'm gonna do. Damn, man. I mean, you could clearly hear him saying that he blamed everything on Young Thug. But the scariest part is that he even says that if he was to get pulled over right after he leaves that courtroom, and he was asked something about Young Thug he would make something up even if it wasn't true. Damn, man, just listen to him, man. And that's right now, if you tell, if I walk out this day and, and, and they say, they probably stop me now. Hey man, give me something about the, shit, I'm about to make something up about him again. On January 11, 2015, when you went to speak to the police, when they called you, did they ask you about Thug or did they ask you about the murder of Donovan Thomas? I don't know, I don't, re I don't remember. Did you go down to the police department on your own to tell them that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? Uh, did I go on my own? Did you walk into the police department by yourself to tell them on the morning of January 11, 2015, that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? I don't recall. Damn, man, this is a huge key factor in this case because YSL Woody was really out in the streets doing these reckless activities and then every time he got caught up, he used to just throw the blame on Young Thug. Now you could clearly hear how he was asked if he had went down to the police station to tell the cops that he wasn't involved with that specific murder. So if he was telling the cops he wasn't involved in that murder, who you think he was throwing the blame on? Young Thug. Now Young Thug was on million dollars worth of game a few years ago, and he spoke about how he could read rats and now he can smell and even know if there is a rat around him. And he says he has something that's called the rat radar. So if Young Thug was so good at reading rats, do you guys think that Young Thug had an idea that YSL Woody was making up stories or even telling real stories on him to them boys? I don't know if everybody the same, but one thing I can say, one thing I can say is I honestly can see every person that tell, I honestly can see them telling. I don't never be surprised by somebody telling. <laughs> I can damn near, I I can damn near tell you who will tell. So you a rat identifier? Yes, sir. <laughs> right. yeah. I'm a snake. He has like a rat radar. Yeah. You got a rat. Damn, that's a company. Oh, Not rat like radar. Rat yeah. radar. Yeah, a radar. <laughs> a radar. <laughs> a radar. <laughs> and they could be like, slime. Like, that's a rat. But that's, that's a rat. A rat. <laughs> It seems like one of the main reasons why the feds or the cops even started investigating and looking into Young Thug might have been because YSL Woody was really out here doing all these crazy activities and not keeping his mouth shut. Instead of him taking the blame and taking the L for the activities that he was doing, he figured he blamed Young Thug for him because he thought that they wouldn't come after him. Now you would think that YSL Woody would have probably hold some type of loyalty to Young Thug, being that he was somebody that was in Young Thug circle and understood how much being loyal meant to Young Thug. I mean, here's Young Thug explaining to himself on what loyalty means to him. Was YSL even listening? Damn. And it ain't no <laughs> shit like you trying to live up to a street code. It's just like, I live up to a human code. Like I'm not loyal to Gilly. I'm not loyal to you. I'm not loyal to Dora, Dolly, my girl. I'm not loyal to none. I'm loyal to life. I'm not going to tell on you because I don't supposed to tell. Not because you Gilly the kid. Right. I don't give a fuck if you're a roach. Right. Nigga, you can be a, a nigga who I just met tonight. Nigga, the police pull up and they find your gun. Nigga, I'm not finna tell the police this your gun. Just cause you're a stranger and I don't know you. Or you 70 years old, so it'll never come out that I read it or it, nothing gonna make me tell. Right. It don't matter who it is. Right. 
You know what I'm saying? So I live on I live on them tight code, bro. It got I live, I, I'm, I'm a lawyer to life. You live on them Cleveland to. Avenue codes, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Lawyer to life, bro. You know what I mean? It go all the way back to Cleveland Avenue. I tell all my niggas, too. Every nigga who I fuck with, man, do not be lawyer to me. Be lawyer to life. Be mm. lawyer to the earth. Be lawyer to yourself. Be lawyer to the code. Be lawyer mm-hmm. to what you're supposed to be. Nigga, this is a code. Because like, right. if you ain't loyal to yourself, how the fuck you going to be loyal to me, man? Right. You're not loyal to the code. Nigga, I'm a part of the code. You know what I'm saying? You're not loyal to that. Like, you basically saying, I tell on you if you went thug. <laughs> and you like man, I ain't telling no, I ain't telling no thug. You basically saying if I went thug, you you consider telling. <laughs> yeah, I never you take that into, consider, into consideration, right? If I wasn't me, so it's like, hey, don't don't be silent for me. Be right. silent for yourself. Be silent for your be motherfucking silent for motherfucking. Now, damn man, you could clearly hear Young Thug say it. They are million dollars worth of game. He used to tell all his homies. Be loyal to the cold. Don't be loyal to him. Just be loyal to the cold. Come on, man. Why is Sal Woody was doing the complete opposite? But at the same time, Young Thug claims that he did have a rat radar and that he knew who would tell and who wouldn't and who would stand on business and who wouldn't. Now, unfortunately, I say again and I repeat myself to tell you guys that I think that this played a big factor in this YSL Rico because people around Young Thug were getting caught up and then specifically YSL Woody when he would get caught up he would just keep blaming Young Thug for all the actions they would tell him like yo this person got clapped Young Thug did it yo this person got hit up Young Thug did it yo drive by on this block Young Thug did it so eventually the cops said hold up man like we're hearing that Young Thug is the one that's doing all these actions, but we see him on the MTV red carpet, that boy outside, living this celebrity lifestyle. Man, let's start investigating Mr. Young Thug. And ultimately, it got the Atlanta DA, Fanny Willis, to open a Rico case on Young Thug, being that there were so many loose ends around them. And then you got YSL Woody talking about Young Thug is the one that's in charge of everything. Damn, man, ain't this a cold world, man? Listen, you have to pay attention to your circle and everyone that's around you because sometimes those that are the closest to you are playing you the dirtiest. It's just the way it is, man. That's why I just keep a small circle around me. Damn, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think of this whole situation, man. Hit that bell up above so y'all stay notified when I drop these videos and follow the Schmack House on all social platforms, man. We are going crazy on the reels and crazy on TikTok. About to hit 10,000 on TikTok. I appreciate you, man. I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.